Hi, welcome back. Sorry I've been missing a couple of videos here and there lately. I've actually been quite busy working on a booklet on how to grow your own caffeine, which I mentioned the other day, but now it's done and it is live on Amazon. I'll put the link below. But it's on growing coffee, tea, and Yapon holly, which is a native North American source of caffeine. And I've grown all these plants and have enjoyed all of these plants. And as you know, probably, I'm a huge coffee drinker. I tend to put coffee in my videos because without coffee, the videos wouldn't happen. Actually, most of my books wouldn't happen. Actually, my entire life wouldn't happen. But I want you guys to be able to grow coffee or at least grow your own caffeine in a crash. So I wrote this little booklet. It's $1.99 and I put it up on Amazon. And if you uh, find me at least slightly entertaining, go ahead and buy a copy. I think I make like 70 cents after Amazon gets their cut. So go ahead and give me 70 cents and then promote it on your Facebook page if you don't mind. Eventually, if I sell enough of those things, I'll be able to actually uh, maybe get another coffee maker or something. Something nice, you know. I might get one of those nuclear powered ones that shoots steam and stuff. Nah, I wouldn't. I just squander all the money on seeds. That's what I always blow my money on. Anyhow, putting the booklet together was a lot of fun. And uh, I actually, in the appendix, there's an interview with a Kona coffee farmer because I didn't know how commercial coffee went. I just knew it as like growing it in pots in my backyard, growing it along the back wall of my house in Florida. And this guy, whose name is Gary Strawn, he runs KonaEarth.com, Kona Coffee. He agreed to do this interview with me. And then what I did was after this interview it had all kinds of information in it. I hired a transcriptionist, had her transcribe it, and then I edited it to make sure it read nicely and put it in the end of the book. So you also get what does it take to have your own commercial coffee farm along with just how to grow coffee and tea as a hobbyist so you have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea during the crash because when the zombie apocalypse happens, you don't want to be facing that without a cup of coffee, obviously. I mean, seriously. AI, death drones, plagues without coffee. So check the book out. It's on Amazon and I'm going to get back to doing regular videos and I will catch you all around. Be sure to like these videos and you know, give me a nice little thumbs up. Look at, see, don't you feel sorry for me? Look at my mangled hand. Give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com and until next time, may your thumbs always be green and may you always have some coffee or at least some tea. I'll be able to actually uh, maybe get another coffee maker or something. Something nice, you know. Maybe one of those ones that's like nuclear powered that nuclear 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 nuclear